You excited, Ma? Yeah, very nervous about the drive now, though, because I got to get used to a new car. Ma, <laughs> you're locking me out. <laughs> Five eleven in the morning. I'm taking the first shift just till it gets light out. We're gonna see Grandpa tonight for Thanksgiving. Here we go. Miami first. <laughs> Ma's taking second shift. You all right, Ma? <laughs> we tried to go to two different places to get some food, and they're both closed. Of course, it's Thanksgiving Day. Ma, you done with your cigarette? Look at her. Look at her. So I'll be going 60, okay? That was cheating a little bit. That's going to sound fine. When the market's open, it's good place to eat. Thanksgiving dinner with Grandpa and Ma and Dev. Happy what about Dev? <laughs> There's Grandpa. <laughs> so how many, how many years did you work on that project? A lot of years, right? From beginning to end? What? What? 79 to 89. 10 years. Yeah, no, I told you, 75. Sit on his head. That's all Christmas. You want to sit on whose head? Santa, the perfect Santa is. You want to sit on his head? Yeah. Ma wants oh to God. sit on Santa's head. I've been a good girl. <laughs> so, uh, it's the morning of us about to get on the boat. Packing everything up and went over to my grandpa's room and he says, Damn it, Corey, I can't find my passport. And I'm like, what, grandpa? He said that whenever the driver came to pick him up in Cali, he was like rushing him and he just forgot it. Now mind you, he's 93 years old, so, but, ah, uh, man, I don't know if we're still gonna go on the cruise. I don't know if he's, I don't know what's gonna happen right now, but um, we're thinking bank and hoping this works out. All right, this is the moment of truth. Yes. Yeah. And Grandpa. Hey, we're good. Yeah. Bink, bink, Grandpa. See you, Deb, as soon as you get on. Deb. So you're excited about Devma? Yeah, and my Corey, and spending time with my boys. And I Grandpa? Just my father in law got on. Yeah, thank God. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> I didn't have a drink yet. There wasn't scared. any, you didn't even trip on anything. Oh, Lord. Oh, we found the casino. I found my hands, yeah. Get it, Can we come in? Will he see I can Ma's already meeting guys. Grandpa, act like you're cheersing. Grandpa, make believe. Make believe. Damn. Yo, look at these apartment buildings. Wow. The most rich people live in that one. <laughs> Formal night. Ma, wave. Dev. <laughs> Hold on to the rail, Ma. I know I'm gonna document in case you fall. Okay? <laughs> if you All right, I will. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, Ma, ready? I'm documenting the moment we step down in Haiti. Oh, touchdown in Haiti. <laughs> What an awesome show. That was so sick. Four Haiti locals just came in there while we were eating and said, you want to see the most amazing show ever? And he hyped it up really well. And we went over there and watched it. And for 10 minutes, they were just doing flips and spinning. And you saw the guy jump through the hoops. So of course I had to go up there and say how much I loved it. And I wanted to give the guy a Think Pink bracelet because they said they had a really big competition coming up and they wanted to represent their country and please help us. And you know, it could have been a good story just to get tips, but I don't know, I could feel the grind and feel the heart in those guys, the way that they were yelling and the way they were all together and giving each other high fives. And I mean, it was dangerous too. They're doing it on concrete. So I hooked them up with the 20 and I gave them a Think Pink bracelet. I'm about to go bring them all one. I have some in the book bag right here on the beach, but I really love seeing people grind or trying to get out of their bad situation. I'm sure they have dreams, you know, and they're over here dancing for tourists to make money. Like, <laughs> that's awesome. Walking back to the boat now, or the ship. I know Devin was about to correct me. Ooh. I knew he was. <laughs> what a day though. I couldn't record everything. I didn't want to record everything. What you missed was paddle boarding. Uh, I did some Wim Hof breathing in the middle of the ocean, just sitting there looking at the beautiful scenery. That was, that was incredible. If you ever have tried Wim Hof breathing, YouTube it real quick and just try it one time. And then leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. and then hopped on the bus, took a 30 minute ride. Now we're at the caves. You start to see it right here, but you gotta walk down a hundred steps apparently. And I'm a little claustrophobic, so I hope it's not too tight in there, but it should be pretty cool. Wow. I got a little claustrophobic, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be a hundred years for a centimeter of that stalactite to grow. So imagine that it came from the top and then from the bottom and they had to meet and it took a hundred years per centimeter. <laughs> the world's best mojito bar. We're about to find out. Thank you. That looks delicious. 
confirm banging. The trees are dinging. I don't know where it's coming from. It's the bells right there. Oh, the bells. You guys can't see them, but there's some bells over here. That's making that noise. Where? Point to it. Oh, there you go. So yeah, we're eating lunch in this nice little alleyway. We're gonna start playing bells because it's four o'clock. <laughs> All right, so earlier on the tour, we saw this beach on the second floor of this Renaissance hotel. And we just walked right in and acted like we're staying here. <laughs> we're trying to go to the second floor beach. That's George, Stefan. We just met him. Now we're doing the mission. <laughs> I think we did it, guys. <laughs> wow. Yo. <laughs> Mission complete. Damn. I can't believe you just did that. This is crazy. We were walking across the floating bridge and the bell went off and now it's moving. The bridge literally moves across so boats can get by. Oh, look, there it is. So the whole bridge moves. <laughs> we almost missed the boat. I don't even get their names yet. What's your, what's your names? Ruben. Ruben and Hannah? Hannah, yeah. yes. It was very nice to meet so you guys. Nice to meet My you. brother and friends wanted to get back on the boat and I said, nope, I want to go get an old fashioned. I sat next to them and we started chatting. And now we might miss the cruise ship together. I don't know. No, no, think big, think yeah, big. We got We're it. Good. We, got it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. You want to make no. it on? Shawshank? Is that really your name? Shawshank is the name. And touchdown and bunny. We can't go all the way back there because the bats have babies this time of year, so they try to protect them. The Venezuelan Indians were the first people to live here in the 1400s. Could you imagine living in here? And then the Spanish came over. They were looking for gold. They didn't find any gold, but they found the Indians. So they captured them, made them work for them, and then they basically inhabited the island until the Dutch took it over. I don't know when. I was listening, but I couldn't really understand them. <laughs> this cave is so cool, though. That's from the 1400s. What? Oof. So, after our buggy tour, we went and got some beers and we had a few hours. I just came on this private beach. I said private, not really private. It's just like a little beach. And we're waiting for sunset. When you put your goggles on and like you see that and you go underwater and it's like a completely different world and you see fish of all different colors and swimming around and one of them I thought was looking at me and then it just did a little spin and then darted off and it was, oh, it's called a parrot fish. It's so beautiful. Me and Devin saw it a couple times earlier and then we asked a local whenever I bought a sandwich. And apparently those things eat coral and then poop out sand. They make sand. <laughs> I 
just watched one of the most epic sunsets ever. But it wasn't really because of the sun. I just was swimming all around there, listening to these people play this, uh, I don't know what it is, water polo? But it was hearing the different language. And then these boats in the background with the birds flying around. I got the goggles on, so I'm going under the water and I see the fish and it's all blue. And then I go up and it's the sky and it's all blue and red and orange. And uh, that was epic. This was epic. I was the last person again, the second night in a row. Get up to security, she says, sir, you gotta finish your drink. And I'm like, all right, I'll hang out for a second. And then I'm just casually drinking it. And then she's like, come on, sir. And then when I get on, she microphones. The last guest is now through. <laughs> Whoops. Dizzy at all? A little dizzy? I'm not normally as steady as I'm So we just got to Aruba. This is our tour. Now we're going to the yeah, hospital. Right. Grandpa took a little bit of a fall last night. He has stitches over his eye and his arms messed up and we took him to the hospital on the ship earlier and uh, they said that it looked like his pupil was blown out and he might have some internal bleeding. So we're gonna get him checked out and then take it from there. But grandpa's first. So we got grandpa to the hospital. And actually before that, I had to go find him some hearing aid batteries. We went to four different places, couldn't find any. Then at the last spot, whenever they said, no, we don't have that size, there was a guy on the same aisle that overheard me looking for it. He said, is it an emergency? I said, yeah, it is an emergency. My grandpa can't hear anything and he's at the hospital now. And he literally takes the hearing aid out of his ear and gives me the battery out of his own hearing aid. He's like, I can only give you one. I'm like, that's fine, sir. Thank you so much. So now my grandpa just went in for a CT scan. Me and Ma are trying to find the beach that's a few minutes away from the hospital. And we're just gonna hang out for a little bit and then hope for the best with him so then we can go enjoy the rest of the day. You think it big, right, Ma? I think it big for grandpa. Grandpa got cleared. He's good to go. No internal bleeding, no brain damage or anything like that. Then he wanted to take us to lunch at this place called Linda. And he told the cab driver, take us to Linda. And we're at Linda. But once we got here, he said, oh, I forgot the playa part. <laughs> it's Playa Linda. And it is gorgeous. Wow. I'm dying. You're dying? Ma's dying. Yeah, what's <laughs> They keep saying, oh my God, I can live here. I can live here. Cheers to Grandpa being all right. Or just cheers to this whole trip. Oh, love you, Mom. Ma, oh, you missed it. Unfortunate we didn't get to spend the whole day in Aruba, but man, I love the vibe of this island the most of all three. It's safe to say I'm coming back here. Dad, you coming back here? Oh, Aruba's sick, for sure. It's the most Americanized of all the islands. That's what our, our driver Maureen told us. So even my mom at lunch was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I could come out here for a week. I also just saw that there was a World Series of Poker Circuit event that I missed and I'm like, oh, idiot, <laughs> idiot. How sick would that have been? Go play poker in Aruba. So maybe next year for that, I'll be back. Me and Deb about to hit up the ice skating rink. Just had to sign the waiver. Ooh, it'd be dangerous. Oh, Deb, I'm laughing when you fall. I'll see you on the ice, Deb. Ooh. <laughs> 
All right, I gotta put the phone down. Dad was scared he was gonna break his neck. Look at him out there. <laughs> He's about to do a spin on him. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I was just hyping you up. First time he fell. Dev just registered a slot tournament. He's studying the opponents. Oh, it says you're number one, Dev. Is that a sign? Everyone's number one. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to do a Top Gun paper airplane challenge. I thought we had an advantage with Grandpa, but he was like, I don't know how to make him go far. I just know how to make him be stealth. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. Big, big. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right, that was next. So we're about to play some bingo right now with the fam and our new friends. And I got my man Daywa here. What's that called? What's that called? Legendary Long Island. Legendary Long Island. Daywa. I literally have to come find him everywhere, anywhere that he's on the ship, because he makes the best ones ever. Am I doing all right? Yep. There's that guy. Hey. Oh, we'll do it. But look who made it. <laughs> the whole bar loves him. We sent a little prayer for you, and we're glad to see you up and gotten around. I'm singing the rain. Ooh, that's close. One and zero. Beat oh, snap! Dev needs one number for the cars. Dev needs one. I 24. I 24. I 24. I 24. I get a free cruise. Next number. So much pressure. This is so intense. I 18. Oh, we have another show me the cruise over there. This is so intense. There's like six people right now that need one number. Next number. G57. No! No! Wait, that was the least exciting thing I've ever heard. Almost, Dev. At least we had a sweat. We had a sweat. to the room. Cruises. The party is over. Back to pretty reality. Much, Back pretty to much over. And cooking and cleaning. When Corey makes a mess in the bathroom, I gotta clean the window and do corner to corner. She's thinking about all the stuff she has to do instead of just enjoying the rest of the time we have tonight. I'm going to bed now. What am I enjoying? <laughs> it's over. What a cruise, though. What a cruise. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, night night. Come on, cheers to the camera. No, you got water. Cheers to the Oh, cheers. <laughs> Later, boat. What a trip. What a trip. 